So before we go over the window sticker, I just noticed the rear seat also has the full recline setting. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's going to be reviewing a 2023 Land Rover Range Rover full size in the autobiography package. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Land Rover here in downtown Salt Lake for giving me some time with this full size. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below. Definitely check them out. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into it. So under the hood, we have a twin turbo 4.4 liter V8 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 16 around town and then 21 on the highway with power outputs being 523 horsepower and then 553 pound feet of torque. Now, the reason I'm showing you guys the key fob is because this has the light function just like a lot of other Range Rover models, well, every other Range Rover model, and that gives you the ability to turn on the lights with the key fob, which is really practical if you're walking up to this at night and need to see something. Anyways, notice we have the prominent Range Rover logo there in the center. We've got the Land Rover logo just down below. And then you guys can see just how bright these lights are. You've got the daytime running lights that are pretty similar to the last generation, but notice how the lights themselves and the grill is very flush with the bodywork. And then we've got parking sensors all along the front, little front camera there, and then the fog lights as well. And overall, Looks great on the front end. Now coming around the side here, our tire and wheel setup is 285, 40, 23 in the front and over in the rear as well. And I really like the design on these wheels. It's pretty simplistic, but obviously gigantic 23s, right? Notice we do have Brembo brakes here in the front. And this also does come equipped with air suspension. We'll go over that a little bit more later. Notice it says autobiography down there and then you can see the black trim here all along the bottom notice that the mirror caps are also blacked out and then the whole roof has been blacked out and then if we take a few steps back you guys can see the full side view here of the full size and again looks really cool obviously got the pop out door handles as well we're back here looking at the key fob again because we're gonna open up the rear hatch so this is something that uh, I think Range Rover is pretty iconic with, and that is the whole hatch situation. So you've got like the tailgate here on the bottom portion, and then obviously the hatch there on the top. Notice here with the cargo cover that's already been built in, and then you've got these little things that you can actually lift up to do different functions, and you can basically turn this whole thing into like a seat in the back, which is really cool. And that's just... Um, a little bit of a glimpse into the interior that you guys are about to see. Now we have a bunch of functions right here. So stuff for the cargo cover to slide that back. That's like the top functions here. And then it was to fold down the seats. And then for the air suspension to raise and lower it in the rear. So it makes loading a little bit easier. And then more controls for the seats all in one little area. Again, minimalist is the kind of like overall theme with this. And then speaking of uh, minimalist here, we've got this little button right here we can press. And notice it'll close the bottom, just the bottom if you just want that closed for some reason. But if you want both of them to close, you can just press this and then it'll do both of them nicely and uh, synchronized so that all makes sense. And then anyways, here is the rest of the rear, which looks just like pretty much every other full size now. You've got the lights that are actually right here and then this is just blacked out trim here on the top and then down below. Again, looks fantastic. And then notice we got the double shark fin there on the hood, or not the hood, the roof. I guess I just lost my mind today, but anyways, there's the rear. Now here is the door panel in the back. You guys can see beautiful leather here at the top and then look at the wood trim down below. And again, minimalist is the theme here. So notice that the seat adjustments are also the memory seat control. And then you guys can see here with the leather trim down below. And then look at the speakers here for the Meridian sound system. And then just look at all of the trim pieces. Just fit and finish is fantastic. And just like the overall aesthetic is fantastic. And then here are the seats in the back. Look at this, you got like these pillows for headrests that actually adjust here to the side, just like on an airplane, if you're in like first class, for example. And then, or I guess, um, what, business class? Anyways, you guys can also see here, perforated all down the center. And then stepping in, you do have to step up just a little bit, um, but you guys notice that it's very spacious back here. And I'm kind of like leaned back, it's like in recline mode. You do get these screens here for the rear and then even the grab handle is like really nice with the material use the fit and finish it's like wrapped with leather craziness got a vent here right next to it and then we have our little climate controls 
down below um, that let you do the adjustments for like the heated cooled seat function with the controls themselves and then notice with the little power outlet and then you guys can see if I press this button that's fancy look at that even the, like the back portion of the seat here <laughs> is covered in leather a place that you're pretty much never gonna look is still covered in leather anyways you guys can see here we've got the center console is this the little uh, Range Rover mirror? Yes, it is. We have our Range Rover mirror. That is fancy, that's for sure. And then you guys can see here, we've got our screen. So notice that we can slide to open that. And then this also lets us adjust everything with the seats. As we can do the heat function, the massage. I said cooled function a little bit earlier. I guess it just has the heated seats here in the back, but still, heated and massaging seats for back passengers, like, that's just more, more than I could ever ask for, uh, frankly. And yeah, overall, I mean, the screen's easy to use. You can also adjust the climate back here. Like, this is cool. Wow, you can even do the blind, everything. That is just some fancy stuff if I have ever seen it. And again, like everything is covered in leather. It is crazy, even like here on the top. Like, just look at all of the leather. Well, I was about to leave and then I pressed this cut button and I realized that we have another thing to show you guys. That's fancy. And then you just click that back. Wow. Now here is the front door panel. You can see it's just as beautiful as the rear. Look at all the wood trim. And again, the coloration on this is just fantastic. Notice there again with the seat adjustments, the memory seat function, all of the window controls here. The mirrors do power fold in. They've got blind spot monitoring. And then here are the front seats, which again, have the cool little adjustment there, just like on an airplane. And then notice here, perforated. We still have a little armrest there on either side. And yeah, it just looks fantastic. And again, look at just all of the trim. Autobiography, pedal layout down below. And then you guys can see here with the little opening for the hatch. And then just look at the material use here on the dash. Let's pop in. Doors are soft close. Now here is the steering wheel, really nice material use all throughout. I love the two-tone design. Even the airbag cover has nice stitching on it. Let's press this button, that actually lets you do some stuff here in the center gauge cluster. And then you guys can see here with the cruise control stuff and then also for the heated steering wheel, look at those paddle shifters. And then we got a regular turn signal light stock and then our windshield wiper stock. And yeah, I like the two-spoke design actually. Now here is the center gauge cluster. It's a full digital gauge cluster. Again, if I press the little circle button, notice that we can scroll through some different uh, menus here on the vehicle off to the side but it's cool that it shows like the navigation there and overall i, I don't know I, I think that it looks really good and again it kind of like fits with the overall minimalist design they're going for now here is the center infotainment screen so first off if we pop it into reverse you guys can see we've got a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel now so we can also pop it into the off-road mode as well i forgot with the screen you got to kind of click it a little bit more and notice it lets us know that everything's unlocked and what's happening with the suspension as well um, but resolution with the camera system is fantastic and you guys probably also saw if we go back to the on-road mode we've got that bird's eye view because this does have a 360 camera system anyways as for the rest of the infotainment screen you guys notice we've got the shortcut bar here on the side uh, notice you can swipe with like this portion of the screen and love all the info you can see like the elevation that we're at for example if everything's locked or unlocked weight sensing even though you know i don't think anyone's ever going to take one of these off-road as cool as that would be it definitely takes a second to get used to like the whole uh clicking uh functionality on it and then notice you can adjust the air suspension here so right now we're in the normal mode but we can pop it down to access which would make getting in and out even easier which is really cool gotta remember to click i'm always just like tapping because that's what i'm used to with infotainment systems anyways there's the screen. Now down below, we've got our climate control section. So if we push in, this will let us adjust the heated or cooled seats. And then if we push in again, notice it pulls up with the temperature. And then if we pull, we've got the fan speed. So it's all built into one control. And then notice we've got these shortcut buttons. So like, for example, again, you gotta, gotta click a little bit harder. If we push that, we can go to the seats. We do have massaging seats here for the front as well, which is awesome. And then you have tons of adjustments here with the seats so you've got like the quick adjustments there and then you've got like more adjustments here in the screen and then here's the shifter again really nice material use pretty simple to use right 
from a functionality standpoint. And then stop start button. And then I love how we have a physical knob for the volume instead of having to go into an infotainment screen. I really appreciate that. And then this is our drive mode select. We'll get into that in just a moment. We got hill descent control and then we have our low range. And does this have what I think it has? Yes, it does. Refrigerator center console. Could not ask for more in life. It's like the coolest feature ever. And then this does slide backwards to be some cup holders and then you can just slide it back into place. Oh, so look even here, just nice stitching and leather trim just everywhere. This interior is very well thought out. So just like other Range Rover models in the past, this is the like little dial that you click up to actually change the modes. So this is just the auto mode. And then once I click it up, notice it'll pop up here, but then also there as well. And then I can change the mode. So right now we're in comfort, you can go to eco, dynamic. And then the other side, you got grass, gravel, snow, mud ruts, sand, rock crawl, waiting, and then your configurable mode. And the drive modes will change a lot of things from the engine to transmission response to also the air suspension as well, right? If you're like in an off-road mode, air suspension will raise up. If you're in the dynamic mode, it'll lower down, right? Depending on what you want to do. So as you can see, we got the camera mirror and we've got our controls here for the panoramic sunroof. And then notice we have a leather headliner. This is actually cloth in the interior. <laughs> That's interesting of the sun visor, but the rest of the headliner is beautifully stitched leather, which looks fantastic. Again, just makes this feel so upscale. It's interesting though, the uh, pillar isn't covered in leather. So you have like leather here, leather on the dash, but then no leather in between. So before we go over the window sticker, I just noticed the rear seat also has the full recline setting for this one behind the uh, passenger seat. So this person is not nearly as important as that person right there, which is awesome. Anyways, you guys can see here, we've got a 2023 autobiography, short wheelbase. Almost everything is standard equipment. And then here's the warranty information. So four year, 50,000 mile basically is the main warranty. Notice base MSRP, $150,600 for 3,800 bucks. You got the heated and cooled seats and notice executive rear seat as well. It says heated and cooled. So I guess I was right initially. It is cooled for the rear. I should have trusted my intuition on that one. Um, but you guys can see the other options. And apparently the 23 inch wheels are now on um, restriction at this point, which depending on when you watch this video, that may or may not uh, matter. So... <laughs> This person's lucky that they got that. Um, and if you guys are wondering on this uh, color, it's called Deep Garnet. And I think this is probably like one of the most in beautiful interior colors I've ever seen, especially in contrasting to the whites. But enough of me talking. There's your total MSRP, $169,425. And that some things, sums things up for our tour on this autobiography. If you guys wanna see driving with this powertrain, I've already reviewed a full size with this powertrain here at the Land Rover in Salt Lake. Um, so I'll try to remember to include that video in the description down below. If I don't, just look up Ben Hardy, full size Range Rover V8, and it'll pop up. That's gonna sum things up for a video on this full size. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Land Rover here in downtown Salt Lake for giving me some time with the full size, the air suspension's adjusting. That's what that is. Anyways, I really appreciate it. Again, link to their inventory in the description down below. I'll see ya.